Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading comes to us from the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verses 1 through 4, and the quote is by William Marion Branham from the message entitled, Broken Sisters. This message was preached on July 26, 1964. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song, he also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. As I pass 50 years old, I wake up of a morning, you know how it is, can't hardly get that one foot out of the bed. My, I can't hardly do it, and somebody at the door knocking, or Billy telling me to the emergency somewhere, I've got to go, and I think, how can I do, try to put one foot out? I think, thou art the fountain filled with my strength. Amen. My strength and my help cometh from the Lord. Thou art my artesian well. Thou art my youth. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings like an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Lord God, this is my duty to go. I'm called to the post of duty. And the first thing you know, something begins to gurgle up inside of me. The day over to a little place I was having a meeting over here in Topeka, Kansas. There's a boy, a young preacher, one of my first sponsors, Brother Roy, sitting here, remembers the place in this, in this great place there. There was a, uh, this minister had got under a roof or a place, a sidewall, mashed him down beneath that the little fellow was going to die. His liver was bursted. His spleen was knocked out of place. Tons fell on him. I sat at the breakfast talking to the wife. I said, wife, you know, if Jesus is here, you know what he'd do? I said, when he sponsored me, I believe that word, he's sponsoring Christ. And I said, that's a trick of the devil. I said, if Jesus is here, he go lay his holy hands upon him. That boy would get well. I don't care if his liver is bursting. He would get well because Jesus would walk in there knowing exactly who he was. He knew his calling. The scriptures was right vindicating in him. He knew who he was. And not, a, not no shadow of doubt. He lay his hands upon him and say, son, be well. Walk out there, and I said, there's enough devils in hell to kill that boy then. I said, he'd get well. But I said, you see, honey, he was Jesus, the holy hands of God. I said, I'm a sinner. I was born sexual uh, um, birth. My father and mother were both sinners. And I'm just a no good nothing. And I said, but you know what? If the Lord would give me a vision and send me down there, then that would be different. I said, I'd go down and lay my hands on him. He come out of that bed if he give me a vision. Then I got to thinking. After all, if it was the vision, what was it? It was the same dirty hands on him. Amen. Same man praying for him. Amen. Same dirty hands. Amen. Then I begin to think, I am his representative. Amen. Then God doesn't see me. That blood of that righteous one lays up there upon the altar. It makes intercessions for me. He's my sufficiency. He's my prayer. He's my life. I said the only thing that make me put my hands on him with faith because I have faith in the vision. And without the vision, the same faith to do the same thing. So I can reckon myself nothing but reckon him my all in all. He is my life. He is my commissioner. No denomination sent me. He sent me. Amen. Hallelujah. I go in His name. Amen. I lay hands up on Him. Walk down there and lay hands on that boy. And that night he was in the meeting solid well. Amen. Amen. We trust that you have been blessed by God's Word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message related content, we invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, the word worlds.com. Thank you and God bless you.